Hey what's up guys, Fazman here. In this video, I am going to talk about Wondershare Filmora 11. The latest update of Filmora 11 has bought amazing new features. Earlier, I had to move to Premiere Pro for editing more pro level videos. But with the new features added to Filmora 11, I am just in love with this software. All the features in Filmora 11 were long due and I have personally been waiting for this update. The first thing is, once you open up Filmora, you will see that there is a couple of new things. The first thing is the instant mode option. It provides you with a variety of different templates that you can use if you kind of want to have something created but you don't necessarily want to put in a lot of time to do it, then this would be a great option. Or there are different types of options. There is business, cinematic, education, family slash show vlog and even when you click on see all and you will notice that a lot more of these templates will appear. And then from there what you can do is you can click on whichever you choose. I think I am going to go ahead and choose this one. So I will go ahead and click the use button and then what it's going to do is it's going to ask me to import some media so I will go ahead and do that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click this auto create button. So what it will do it will load up and get the template ready. And as you can see here you can click on them and then you can change them yourself. So I will go ahead and just change it and add my channel name here. There is also other things you can do on this side layers panel. You can change the color of the text, you can rotate it, you can scale it if you want. And then once you are done, you can go ahead and export it. And then from here, you have your options. You can choose the format, save path, resolution, frame rate, etc. Once done, you can open the folder and see it. And another cool feature is the Filmora 11th version is the stock media option tab. Now when you click on that you will notice that there are different options here. As there are GIFs and stickers from Jiffy, there are Pixway and Unsplash options as well. Now usually if you want to add a GIF to show some type of extended emotion or just a little extra something in your video then this would be the good options to use. So the good thing is there is a database from GIFs and usually what I have noticed with some people's videos that they like to insert a GIF in between one clip to the next for a kind of like a transition. Another cool feature in the Filmora 11 is cloud management. You can upload the project to the cloud and if you want you can share it with your friends. You can also choose whether the link has a password or not. Next cool feature is speed ramping. You might think this is a simple slow motion effect but it's actually a slightly different technique called speed ramping. It's used to adjust the speed of your clip to speed up and then slow down your shots to create a unique cinematic effect. And it sports 6 kinds of popular curve speed templates. You can also adjust it as you like. And the next cool feature is mask. Double click the media in the timeline and click mask on the top menu. You can select it as circle, rectangle, double line, single line, heart and star. You can change its size as well. 
so you can fully customize it according to your need. For example, blood strength, height and width. And after that, we have Auto Montage Maker. I know the automatically generated videos is not what you want because you want to change the starting point, stuck position and effects of the clip. So the program will automatically identify the highlight segments of the video which helps you to automatically generate a video. So just import the photos or videos here, it will automatically identify the highlights and will make a video for you. You can preview it or export it to the timeline. So these are the some cool features of Wondershare Filmora 11. The link is available in the video description so must check it out. So that's it for this video. Give this video a like and comment down below if you have any question. Subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.